Hey, what is up guys? Andrew here from Sinema and I am finally back making a real video today. As you might know, WWDC 2013 started today and I just finished watching the keynote and wow, I got to say that I was really surprised by a lot of the things that Apple has announced, especially with iOS 7. So I'm just going to start right into it. This is probably going to be a two-part video thing, so because there's a lot to cover and I'm going to start out with iOS 7. So let's get into it. First off, it is the biggest change they've ever made like since iOS has been in existence basically. They completely redesigned their interface. Uh, they, they redesigned all the icons, all the apps, uh, the, the icons have brand new colors and they focused very heavily on this idea of translucency. Uh, it just looks incredible. Uh, if you go to apple.com, you can check all this out for yourself if you don't want to watch. But yeah, I mean, I got to say it's pretty awesome. They made a brand new lock screen and it just looks fantastic. So uh, anyways, let's let's get on with it. Some new things that they have introduced is something called Control Center, which you basically slide up from the bottom. And basically, you can instantly change things like brightness. You can turn on a flashlight using the, the flash on your camera. You can basically access those quick settings that, that you really use all the time, like silent mode, all, all that sort of stuff. They improved multitasking, which all apps are now supported with multitasking. It basically makes the phone more intelligent and you can swipe between the apps. Beforehand, you, you just had the bar at the bottom. Now it takes up the entire screen and you just flip through and you can see all running apps. Next, they've improved Safari, which takes on a new full screen look and they have new features like search field, which basically, I it was kind of hard to tell because they were talking really quickly in a way, uh, but basically you just like, it's improved searching, if you will, and they have a new tab interface, which looks absolutely incredible. Uh, it, it looks really, really nice. I've got to say, I'm so surprised. Uh, they have a new feature called AirDrop, which basically is easy sharing with multiple people, especially with the people around you. iCloud photo sharing is also involved with that, and videos are shareable as well. Next, they have improved the camera a little bit more. Uh, it's like a four-in-one camera. Simply swipe to change the cameras. Also, they have made a feature where you can easily edit them and add live photo filters to all of the photos you take. Furthermore, they improved their photos app incredibly, which and this is this is really awesome. Phot photos are automatically organized into moments, collections, and eventually into years. Basically, how this is done is that whenever you take a, f a picture, uh, the the phone knows where you are location wise, and it'll it'll save that location. And what it does, it it, it organizes all those photos into those locations. So you don't have one continuous stream of photos like most people do, which is going to really help people out. Uh, furthermore, they, they have improved Siri. It's a new interface. They have new voices, like a new female voice, as well as a new male voice, which is really interesting. Also, they have integrated more things like Twitter, Wikipedia, and photos. So all that is now in Siri, which is really nice. They have this really, really cool thing called iOS in the car, and basically, starting in 2014, or give or take, iOS shows up on like the car screen, the navigation screen in people's cars, and Siri in the car, it's basically an eyes-free Siri. So you can make phone calls, answer text messages, all while still driving and not dying and crashing. Apple has also redone their app store, uh, basically like new categories. For example, they showed something where with apps that would be suitable for children ages six to eight, etc. And there's this new thing called popular near me, which basically it searches for the most popular apps based on the location you are at, which kind of is something that you might not use all the time, but I guess it'd be for something if you travel a lot. Finally, they have automatic updates, so you never have to manually go in and do that. Next, they have improved their music. They have new artist images when you open up the actual music app. They have a redesigned player and a 
new cover flow look. I'm not quite sure if they called it like cover flow, but basically what, what it is is they turned the phone sideways like normal cover flow, uh, except it showed like columns and rows of the actual artist covers. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain. I would definitely check out all the photos on their website. And finally, they have this thing called iTunes Radio, which basically helps people discover new songs based on the songs that they like listening to. And you can create your own stations and you can buy from within the actual iRadio app, which is actually really neat. Uh, they showed demos and it's basically like an iTunes Pandora combo type thing. And last but not least, there's this thing that they uh, covered briefly at the end called Activation Lock, which is basically makes it impossible for a stolen iOS device to be reactivated by a thief, which is, you know, kind of be helpful because I personally had an iPod Touch stolen from me uh, about two years ago. So I, I could definitely see this feature becoming a very useful feature. Uh, and finally... It's going to be coming in the fall, which basically kind of sucks because this is like the first iOS release where they've actually done something like, hey, I want to see this right now. But anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video about iOS 7. I'm super, super duper excited to learn about as much as I possibly can. So I definitely recommend going to Apple.com to check it out for yourself. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a while. I've just been super busy. I, I had Beach Week last week uh, in Ocean City, and I'm finally back, and I am ready to start making as many videos as I possibly can. So anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video, which is probably going to be tomorrow if I feel like making it. So uh, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.